What is up, everybody? Stud City here, aka Christo, back with another Stud City update. Yes, we have a huge update on our LEGO City. I've done some thorough cleaning, and uh, uh, I wanted to showcase our city and some plans going forward because we are moving along at quite a nice pace, not too fast and not overwhelming. So I am excited to uh, go through today's video. So if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and uh, let's enjoy our LEGO City update. Okay, first things first, we do have our LEGO trains. So I wanted to showcase these because we do have our bridge that's going to go all the way around. I love it. This is absolutely awesome. This is Wee Bricks Bricks, so it's not actually LEGO. I love that bridge as well. And it, it's all coming around so nicely. We are gonna get a big, massive train on our exterior loop and then probably have a second one that goes all the way around. I am enjoying this. It's it's so relieving uh, to see this thing move across the entire room, across the Ninjago Max. What a sign of relief. And then of course, like I said, we do have our Santa Fe elevated at the moment. We might make this a little bit bigger, uh, but for now, we do have an elevated train that goes around Ninjago City. But let me go ahead and turn off these trains and we can talk a little bit more about some of the detail in our city. Okay, like I said, we'll keep rolling on the trains topic. We do have our uh, train station, which is a double train station right over here. I extended the platforms and have built a staircase up. Uh, now this is looks ugly behind it, but it is going to get covered with rock work and probably some interior details just because we have room under there why not make the most of it uh, so i am excited to work on that as we accumulate more pieces however our parts uh inventory is not significant enough to build an entire slash mountain that goes all the way up uh, but i do have a bunch of these pieces which honestly uh just throwing them in there looks pretty awesome uh this is what we want right uh but a lot more detail here going forward and again these are from we bricks uh link uh in in the description below if you want to check out their bricks but uh they are fully compatible and i love these rock pieces so uh thank you to we bricks for sending those out uh, but like i said our train station uh we do have some fabulous signs welcome to fabulous stud city uh that was an awesome gift uh, from a fan uh we do have our original stud city sign and then we do have tabletops uh Tabletop Bricks, his custom prints, awesome account, uh, but definitely check him out if you want some custom work. Uh, now, like I said, our staircase up, I think this turned out really good. Uh, we do have my Stud City minifig from Tabletops, and we do have Life Brick Studios on the right. That's Tyler from LBS, if anyone is asking, and I uh, was wondering. That's essentially maybe our only two minifigs uh, in the city other than the you know, train station and some loose end ones that got to get cleaned up. I have not tiled any of the city yet just because... A lot of things have been changing and shifting, but I did went ahead and build like a nice little railing. Uh, and I do kind of like how that looks and I had some fun playing around with that, but it does look good. And I did make use of all the extra uh, minifig pieces, uh, which are actually these right over here. If you are wondering, uh, you don't really know exactly what to do with those, but I decided to make a fence kind of uh, where we're going to tile off uh, where our pedestrians are going to walk. Uh, and then on this elevated section, we do have the Palace Cinema, uh, not sure the year off the top of my head. Uh, next to it is the detective office that is under construction and about to start being built. Uh, we have our Lego store mock. We have our assembly square. We do have our mock skyscraper, which is in the works. Need to get pieces off the pad wall. I am waiting till I get pieces uh, as it's way cheaper. But I did go ahead and recolor the interior. So I, done, I have done some work on this. Uh, I won't take it fully apart, but... Essentially, this building is going to consist of different themes from Lego. I'm very excited for it because uh, it's quite unique and it's going to be very unique to our city. Uh, but the first floor is a casino. If you want to see more of that, I can to redirect you to a link uh, where I go in depth about this mock that we are working on. Uh, the second floor is going to be uh, apartments slash hotel. Third floor was looks like Harry Potter. And we started working on a Ninjago floor. So probably incorporate Harry, uh, Star Wars, maybe Hidden Inside. Uh, and <clears throat> so on and so on. But anyways, uh, next to that is the Daily Bugle. And then, wow, it's beautiful. The Bugle is beautiful. Okay, but anyways, that's uh, going to shift into probably the water area, I believe. Kind of have to do some rock work. Uh, and then kind of maybe like a beach over here. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going for. That's what I'm planning. And then our Ninjago City, which is definitely my favorite part of our LEGO City. I love Ninjago. I love Ninjago City. Uh, it's definitely my favorite trio in this city. Uh, and it, it kind of does upset me on the location because 
it is hard to see the back side, which is so detailed. Um, in reality, you can't see the back side. Uh, and I, I've been brainstorming on ways to implement this somewhere else into our city so we can see it. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to do that in a future, you know, in a year's time away and run with this layout and then look forward to changing it in the future. So that that is something that does have me excited. Uh, and again, that has our Santa Fe on an elevated train track all the way around it. Uh, and then below that, which is going to be next to our beach, is uh, the Spring Lantern Festival. This is an absolutely cool set. I think it kind of looks good, like, under the train tracks. It kind of fits that, like, rugged theme. Uh, but anyways, that's going to take us into our city, which still needs to get tiled off and populated with vehicles and minifigs. Uh, but to start things off, we do have our brick bank next to our police station. And in the corner, we have our Parisian restaurant. Uh, we do have Ballast Train Track all the way around. Next to, across from the Parisian, is the uh, Pet Shop Modular. Uh, with the fire brigade, I believe the car is in there. Can you see it? It's in there somewhere. <laughs> Corner garage, which is actually probably one of my top five favorite Lego modulars. The Grand Emporium. I love the sign on this one. Uh, the downtown diner and then the bookshop. Uh, I love, I really just love all modulars. But carrying on, I have the, uh, the Home Alone house, which might get shifted and rotated maybe 90 degrees and have like a <clears throat> entrance of some sort. Uh, and then hopefully try to make an alley right here uh, with a small apartment building. Uh, then an alley next to the boutique hotel. Uh, and then we do have another house on this side. Uh, I do love how I cut these base plates to give us more room so we can do stuff like this. This was not attainable if we did not cut these base plates or get half base plates. Uh, but this was definitely a cheaper alternative. Uh, but next to the boutique hotel is our redesign of the pet shop modular building. Uh, this is actually given to us by Jonathan from our Discord server. Uh, those of you who are part of the channel most likely know him. Uh, but again, thank you, Jonathan. This thing is absolute beauty. And I really want to showcase as soon as you walk into this room, um, you're going to see this, right? You see the facades of these three buildings and, of course, like Ninjago. But yeah, I think it gets the message across. And then probably going to have a corner one over here in due time just to close it in and pop a little bit more. We're carrying on. That brings us to the right side of our city. I guess we'll call that the west just because it's right and that's the way I'm facing. Um, okay, it's an absolute mess. There's nothing here. It's just greenery, a new seed from Minecraft. This is going to be a forest area reserve uh, and I won't spoil plans for something else that's going to play into that reserve. Uh, but it, I'm not going to focus on this side of the section of the city. It's essentially going to have these couple buildings, maybe some miscellaneous stuff just sitting here in storage area. And we're really just not going to focus on it. And we're going to really mainly focus on this entire section of the city. And then we'll get to what's behind me later on in life. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it just makes more sense to dial in and try to work towards completing a certain side of your city and then moving forward. But as, as I said, you know, progress is slow, but uh, it's really coming awesome, like the train station and the rock work that's going to go into it. But like I was saying, we do have our bridge that runs across. Uh, this is Wee Bricks Bricks that goes across, and then that side over there is uh, Lego. So uh, you do notice I added a support uh, because I just couldn't build it strength strengthy enough to hold all the way across. Uh, and the other thing is, I don't know if you can tell, this base plate hangs off like five inches, maybe four or five inches. So, I mean, that you know, there's just uh, countless uh, things that kind of played into that. So I just threw up a support and why not, right? We can make that a Lego support and make it out of bricks here very soon. Maybe we could get some like bricks with uh, channel members' names on it or something. I think it'd be really cool. But for now, this is a temporary solution. And eventually I want to build a full on Technic, awesome, awesome looking bridge that I could just remove very easily. Uh, but with time, right? And as I learn more brick techniques, and then <laughs> I, I'm excited for that. I really am, but we'll get there. Uh, and then we do have our Lego tree tree house, uh, the idea set. Uh, it's a really awesome looking set. And I love how when the train goes around it, kind of like loops around it. I, I had to put this over here instead of being in our like forest reserve side on the opposite end of our city. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm planning to keep that and. We will fill this whole area up with a lot more detail here later on in the future. And while we're at it, we can take a look at our storage because uh, we do have quite a lot of pieces and it is organized by pieces. So, I mean, I'll give you guys a brief tour of our Lego pieces and storage area um, just because it makes sense in today's video because it's kind of like an overall tool 
tour with a like city update so uh stick around if you want to see some some of the pieces out and how i have them sorted starting from left to right uh we'll go into this mess which is uh this box holds the train tracks that are extra uh next to that is some pick a brick cups that i probably should just give to life brick studios he needs them he has a bricklink store and i don't need that many uh, the other thing is we have our emerald knight that i would love uh to get in our city but uh it's with current powered up functions it does not run around our city so we're gonna have to remove that and put uh the bluetooth one in uh, and move the motor into the coal tender okay but anyways into the pieces uh pretty simple stuff i don't have a whole lot uh you can see like these are all the one by two by one i believe they're called pieces i own <laughs> and then yeah that's just kind of my organization and then there are some drawers that are an absolute mess but for the most part they are ordered organized by piece type so up here is one by two jumpers a whole tray of them and so on so uh there is quite a lot of pieces but there is not so so much right uh we do have some miscellaneous ones where these are all from pick a brick cups and i have not got around to sorting them at same for this one but we do have some organized drawers like these are all one by two probably my most full fullest drawer there is one by two uh coming in clutch uh this one's pretty empty has some loose end minifigs we got some one by fours here and a one by two that doesn't belong. So we'll take that piece and we will put it in the one by two drawer, which is getting nicely filled up. Uh, the one by ones got filled up quite a bit since we got those sand green pick up cups, but that goes on and so on. Now you may be asking what's going to go under my city. As of right now, it's pretty empty and uh, it's kind of mainly s servicing as storage. I did clean it up. That's why it looks somewhat pleasable to look at. Uh, but I'm honestly thinking like a whole section over here, we make an underground city in the future, right? Like I'll, I'll like crawl down there to work on it and whatnot. We'll make a whole big thing, like a big display under there. <laughs> but I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, but that'll come in time and we don't really need the room at this point in time. So for now, we're just staying on a table on our Lego city. But uh, I did want to showcase that just because there is a ton of room down there you can see some boxes down there uh, but there's a ton of room behind our entire city so uh, it does make sense to utilize that space in the future and then of course we do have some sealed uh lego boxes and stuff on our backlog to build uh we do have uh our brand new <laughs> our brand new vacuum that i have to do a review on still and this i actually cleaned my city with it it's pretty epic so Sneak peek, I guess, review coming soon, uh, as well as some like reels and Instagram reels and TikToks. Uh, and then we do have some of our other sealed collection up here, which is brick link or brick heads and then a bunch of VIP stuff. Uh, there, there really is too much to me for me to even handle at this point. Uh, so I got to be making some moves here to decide what I'm going to do with all this stuff. Uh, and that doesn't even go into what's upstairs. Uh, so, yeah. So it's actually been quite some time since we've done a full uh, room tour and we're still not all the way here, right? We still don't have everything. I still have um, Lego scattered across some houses that I need to bring here and do time. I've just been quite busy working. And then, you know, when I do get spare time, I like to put it into the channel. So uh, that's kind of why I haven't got to move anything. So that's kind of where we're at. I, I am pumped to get this video out though. I've been excited to do this one for quite some time and it's it's been past due. So I hope you enjoyed our city update. I had a blast recording this and I hope you enjoyed it as a viewer because I love showcasing our Lego City, and I, I believe you guys like it. We named our channel after Stud City, and this is Stud City. So, uh, But I do hope you got to see some of the sealed collection. Uh, there's honestly too much for me to go through single-handedly. So if you want to see more of my sealed collection, I'd have to prepare an extensive long video to show you just sealed Lego because there's a lot, and I'd have to prepare for that. But if you do, leave a comment below, and I will be sure to put in my efforts uh, at my video backlog to get to that video but as always i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any recommendations for our lego city i would greatly appreciate it if you comment i do enjoy reading comments i read every single comment even if i don't respond uh, i do read them because that's something i enjoy to do uh, here at my evenings but anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new if you found it informative entertaining insightful I did my job uh, and that is my goal. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Stud City, aka Cristo. See you in the next video, Stud City. Out.